At Maisel is live in York with why a decade old message is bringing much needed closure. Heather Connie and Tony Zorba's home here on Tioga Street in York is boarded up today. Thankfully, though, family members were allowed inside earlier in the week. They're thankful because they found what they told me is something that you would see out of a movie. To my husband, Tony, to my dearest husband, who I love more than life. Amidst the ashes and the rubble, four pieces of paper survived. You were always so perfect in everything you did. For my uncle to find these letters untouched is almost like their spirit was sending him to these letters. Letters written by Connie Zorba to her husband, two sons, and brother and sister. Penned 10 years ago when Connie was diagnosed with cancer. The envelopes seemingly untouched by surrounding flames. It read, only open if I die. They gave them to us and it was like she was speaking from the grave. Everything that she said was pertinent to today. I need to feel you near me once in a while. Please. Connie's sister, Sharon Wyant, reading the letter marked for Connie's husband, Tony. The two died together Sunday when a fire broke out in their York home. Tony had been suffering from dementia, and Connie went back into the kitchen to save him. The family said they passed inches apart. Connie's brother, Michael, found the letters in a box in the home's office. It's a love story. I, I classify my sister as a, as a hero. What she taught me in trying to pull my dad out was, if I can do that for, if I can give an eighth of that to my wife, I've already hit a home run. In Tony and Connie Zorba's death, they've brought life, a family which lost its way, finding itself once again. Connie was big on family. We all kind of grew apart, and now that this happened, it seems like we've all come back together again. Back together, thanks to four letters seemingly sent from above. Everything's just so amazing, everything that's going on, and it's just so overwhelming. <laughs> I guess they were meant to be together till death. I'll always be watching over you, dear. Love always your wife, Connie. The funeral for Connie and Tony Zorba will be Saturday morning, 11 a.m. at St. Patrick's Church in York. Now, the family had a custom casket built so both Connie and Tony could be buried together in the same casket. We're live in York tonight. I'm Matt Mazel, Fox 43 WPMT.